Appreciate the great question. Going to follow up a little bit further. As I mentioned in the comments, this is known as psychogenic pain. That's the category of pain where there's an experience of pain, despite no clear signaling from the actual sensory system, from the peripheral to the brain. And yet, there is an experience of pain. Now, historically, this has been lumped into psychological problems, meaning you're making it up. It is imagined. And yet, fMRI studies, now that we have those, are showing repeatedly that psychogenic pain is still a real experience mirroring normal pain signaling. That is, the pain sensory apparatus in the brain still activates as it would if the actual sensors were being stimulated on, let's say, the skin. So that tells us that this is at least a real experience, that the person isn't, for example, making it up, which our legal system still tends to uh, state, that if someone determines it's psychogenic pain, it is legally experienced or addressed differently than if it is real pain. So just thought I would share a little bit of that. Uh, I'll post a link, as always, in the comments uh, for those who want to read up a little bit more. And again, thanks for the comment.